not so babes. Child, let me tell you, these braids, I have had enough. I've had enough of the braids. So my plan this morning was to cut them out because I'm just cutting it off. I literally feel like I have a bowling ball sitting on my head. They're heavy. If I lean my head over my head, it just dangles, right? I think this is almost 10 packs of hair. It's too much. So, last video I made, or well, one of the videos, Clay got in trouble because he decided to stay out watching videos and stuff. And he lost his dumb. So, you know, you don't think they're going to do it again and learn the lesson. Learn the lesson. And I don't spank my kids. Some people say, spare the rod, spoil the child. I want to live. Clint got a spanking when he was like six or seven for running off to play video games. So to go on, he climbed over the fence. He was supposed to be in the backyard playing. Climbed over the fence. Gone. And so, I don't worry. Clint has always been my free spirited child. But baby, he got pop out. I thought I was going to have a stroke. I was like, love ya, but not that much. Do I start, you know, yeah, I'm gonna take things away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're not gonna have this, uh -huh. you know. I did one of those things. So this time I took away his dough. And you would think, you done did that last week. Now you doing it again the next week? Staying out? Granted, he texted from his friend's house. He said he was going to get something to eat. Texted from his friend's house. Talking about, uh, can I spend the night? I'm tired. I'm tired. On Fridays, I am exhausted. I've been driving the girls around for their basketball, for their dance practice, for this. I didn't get in this house from 4 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't able to relax until 9.30 at night when the last kid was home. Clint wasn't home. He's on my, uh, can I spend night? He begged and begged, sent text, even sent photos, sent the, um, his friend's dad's number. What I want to say, hmm, didn't you just get in trouble last week and I said no more sleepovers? He's like, well, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm not doing anything. We're just playing video games. See, here's a picture. That's not the point. The point is that I said no more sleepovers and I dozed off. I woke up an hour later, you're going to get in trouble. This is this is your warning. And he was really far talking about some Carlton Woods. I don't know what it is, some rich area. I said, you're going to feel my wrath. Every time, the wrath is going to get worse. I don't got to lay hands on you. I don't got to do that. But there's a lot I can continue to take away. So, you know, it's the next day. Clint's still not here. He's still playing video games. Because you remember, his other friend took back that uh, Xbox. You still playing video games. Still not here. Been talking to him all morning. All right. You know what you lost now? You lost your room, sucker. Now you don't got no room. Now I'm about to move Sydney into the room. So the girls can have the... He didn't even keep the room clean anyway. So what you need a room for? Child. I done took the mattress off the bed. I was like, how do I break down a platform bed? There's like 99,000 screws up underneath uh, the platform. That was too much for my nerves. I said, Bob, you wanna help me? She came in the room and sorted 99,000 screws. She was like, Ma, just let Cindy have this bed and leave her bed in the room. It'd be like the guest room bed. I was like, you know what? That's right. Why well, I'm going to stress myself. Clint don't put his clothes in the drawers anyway, so he don't need no dresser. His clothes are going to go right back, right back into some trash bag. You can have the game room. You don't need a room. You didn't keep it clean. You didn't appreciate it. You didn't try to make it look nice. You, he wasn't even interested. You ain't even got no dough. So if you don't have no dough, what you need the room for? Let Sydney have the room and I can put the dough back. You see what I mean? Now you don't got no room. Now, the next phase of punishment you want to keep defying me. That his defiance is like Disney. Okay, yeah, he didn't listen, but it's like Disney. He begging, please, mom, uh, please. It's like Disney. 
But that is the principle at this point. And trust me, I wasn't going to get them at 10, 11 o'clock at night. I was sleepy. You better stay right there and deal with your consequences because I wasn't going out. I ain't take you there. How you get there? You should have figured out a way to get back. Anyway, now... You don't got no bedroom, sucker. Now, the girls. Now, I'm going to fix up the room for Sydney. And I have some ideas. I don't got no money. But I have some. So, I might even take my rod and my curtains out of my bathroom. Just like I done took the mirror for them. Just take all my stuff. My room is a hot mess. It's not cute. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. So, now, I'm going to put the curtains. Sydney, have, they'll have room. Bobby needed more closet space. Sydney needed more closet space. I'm going to make it look cute. Now you don't got no room. This is what happens when you don't listen. And I don't spank my kids. I don't spank my kids. I'm still taking things away. Is it solving anything? No. Sometimes spankings don't solve anything either. But he feeling it. When I send him a text, boop, 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 it said, now your room is gone. What? That's what I do, fool. That's what I do. Because you're going to be 17. He going to be 17 this year, y'all. 17. Shut Ow. One more year to go. Ow. One more year to go. Ow. One more year to go. Next move is going to be the garage. One more year to go. Ow. All I got to do is insulate it. It's still a room. Hmm. Let's see how he's going to defy me the next time because I could up my kitty. The next thing I'm going to do scare straight. Scare straight. For playing video games? Is it really that serious? <sighs> you see what I mean? It's like Disney defying. Oh, I want to play the game. I want to play the game and throw myself on the floor. <sighs> overall, outside of that, overall, the bigger picture. I think he's a good kid. He just makes poor decisions. He ain't thinking. I'ma think for you. Let's go see. Let's go see his room. Let me see. Let me show y'all what I'ma do for Cindy. I'ma have they got people over. I'ma have him start to move this stuff right in that closet. Bobby has friends over. Can y'all help me uh, transfer Sydney stuff in here, please? Cause Clint is moving out. <clears throat> he's being evicted. <laughs> Parents. You need to evict your kids. They don't want to listen? Evict your kids. Take the doll off. You may not have anywhere else for them to go. You got the room. Take the, take the doll off. Take the TV out of their room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. You got to do something. Act a little crazy. You got to act a little crazy. Because, you know, he ain't he, he doing no good. But let me tell you, he going to feel it when you don't got no room. So now I'm in Clinton's room, and I went cuckoo in here because I be ser I be searching through everything. I ain't find nothing. I be looking for stuff. <sighs> Search through your kid stuff, okay? Look, I don't know what I was doing. I was just, you know, how when you mad, I took everything, everything off the bed, gone, because my goal was to remove the bed. Who's going to be removing all of these screws? Who Who's doing that? And then I was looking here. I don't know how to... Look, I found a book underneath the bed. Peekaboo. Why the book under the bed, Clinton? Shouldn't you be using the book? Should it be under the bed? Ain't nothing in his drawers. Look. Drawers. Empty. All his clothes on the floor. So what this telling me... A, you don't appreciate the room. You don't appreciate the dresser that I took the time to paint with special paint. You didn't even appreciate that. So what I'm going to do is put the bed back. Because, you know, in my head I was doing something. I was going to take the bed apart and pull Sydney's bed in here. It would look cute in here. I don't got time for all that. My nerve is bad. So I'm going to put the bed, move all his stuff in the game room. I really don't want him in a game room. I wanted a cute game room, but that's not going to happen. That's going to be his new room.
technically, you don't have a door to this room. So it's kind of like a game room. You're not using a dresser. So your clothes on the floor. There's a toy chest in the game room. He could put his clothes all in a toy chest. I don't want to see him on the floor. Since you want to disrespect somebody, bye-bye. Sydney, welcome to your new home. Mm. I really want to get Sydney's stuff up in here before she gets home. She's at some dance something in another county. So, let me finish working on this. And I said, you okay with moving to closure? room? She's like, stop playing. You serious? Because I don't want to get my hopes up high. She's excited. She would love to have her own room. Now I got to bring that doll back upstairs and put the doll back on. This is not how I plan to spend my weekend. It's okay, it's okay. My life never goes the way I want it to go. I just gotta roll with the punches, but these braids coming out today. Ay, Dios mio. Why? Why, why? And Bobby's in her bedroom with her friends, Brooke and Sonia. They all went out to eat for her birthday. But it's so weird that I love to hear their laughter and stuff coming from the room. They're all super sweet and super smart girls. They're really good girls and I like to hear them laugh and stuff. I don't know, just the sound of the laughter because I know 18 is going to be gone. And maybe I should record it. <laughs> Woo! All right, let me get back to our So, and with the way my brain works, I'm like, do I need to take a break and cut these braids out of my hair? Oh, Joy, focus on one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Now, right now, is this room. Converting it over to Sydney's room. She's gonna be excited. She'll appreciate the room. She will. He doesn't. Cause it's a hot mess. Clinton's really a sweet boy. Just making poor choices. Like, he won't, like, verbally disrespect me or curse. He won't do that. He won't play video games. Now you can play them in the game room. So he's out. I feel bad, but... Parents and teachers, you make a threat to the kids or you say you're going to do something... You need to be consistent. You need to, you need to follow through. I told him he lost his room, so he can't come home and have his room. So that don't make no sense. He don't deserve the room. Anyway. So, I brought in this for Sydney. She doesn't have a comforter. Brought in a chair and this. We're gonna start bringing her clothes in over here and I'm gonna put the curtain, the curtain up there. So, it's turning into quite a cute little girl's room. I don't know how she gonna feel about this paint color, but I'm not trying to paint no time soon. She needs a little comforter. <sighs> I think it's coming along. Look at this little seating area. Isn't that cute? Found two little pillows around the house. Ooh, Bobby's bringing in the clothes. Bobby's bringing in the clothes. You Bobby, you jealous? Ooh. Do you want this room, Bobby? Doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna take my curtains out of my bathroom. See, I can't have nothing to put them in Sydney's new room. Chair. <laughs> it's very nice. 
<laughs> so only thing she really needs is curtains and we're gonna put her letter over there all right thanks bobby you get jealous i asked you do you want this room bobby you sure you get first dibs you think bobby should take this room mm, nah she keep doing you sure bobby because you could take this room if you want to. No. Are you going to push the twin beds together and make one? Yeah. <laughs> no. no. She needs a comforter. You all right. But Sydney needs a blanket for her bed. And I believe Bobby's having to sleep over so I can't take the blanket from the other bed that's in Bobby's room. So Sydney needs a little comforter or a little something from her bed. So I'm going to see what they got at Walmart, something to throw on. So I want to have the room set up for Sydney when she gets home. So let's see what I can find up in Walmart. Some of the things we do as parents, transforming this whole room, my ponytails on sideways going up looking crazy. I don't even care. I'm trying to get the game room ready for Glenn. He still ain't home. He like, well, I'm going to take my punishment like a man already lost my room, so doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep playing these video games. Okay. Because the stakes are going to get harder and harder, sucker. Keep playing with me, boy. Keep playing with me. But I bet Sydney is going to be very excited. Very, very excited. So can't wait for her. Oh, and the thought of putting the door back on. Maybe Bobby can help me bring it upstairs so, so Sydney can open the door to her new bedroom. <laughs> the things we do as parents, the sacrifices we make, and the kids don't even really appreciate it. Maybe when they get older, I could wait. I could wait. play balancing act you see this this is no bueno well I found a little comforter cheap comforter these little pillows were three dollars and change because the little comforter set comes with little pillow shams so maybe after the sleepover we could take her pillows off her, her bed and We'll see. I'm excited to see how it looks. So the comforter kind of matches the curtains that I took out of my bathroom and put in her room. So I'm excited to see what she thinks and how she feels. I hope she appreciates this because you know how kids are. I don't like that. Well, mm, mm, mm. and it's a double sided comforter. You could turn it over and get a totally different look child so you don't like that side turn it on the other side how about that mm. i'm back home with my crooked ponytail to see how all this is gonna play out in her room i'm excited i don't know i like surprising the kids with stuff like this i think i get more excited than they do thank you jocelyn let's see you went to the store Look, she gets my sister cute stuff. Oh, don't even try it, boo. Did you hear Bobby tell my look? She gets my sister cute stuff. Bobby, how dare you? You guys got a whole room makeover. You see, ungrateful kids, ungrateful kids. That make no sense. Selfish. And I asked Bobby. I asked Bobby 59,000 times, do you want this room? Do you? Do you? Want you? This room? Do you? <laughs> do you want the room, Bobby? Do I want the room? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want the room? I want the room. Do you? Do I? <laughs> so now you got jokes, Bobby? This is my last time. I don't want to hear no shenanigans. But like, how come she gets? She gets what? A bed set. With my chopped liver. <laughs>
I'm just going and going. Now it's dark outside. That's how long I've been going. I decided to bring the door up and put the door back. So I brought that upstairs by myself. Bobby's gone with her friends. Of course, I had to drive them wherever they had to go. So now I'm gonna attempt to hang this door back. I gotta get this back on. Put the door back on. But her room is looking cute. It looks cute. Look at this. Now this was a transformation. So she just needs little things, neat curtains, and little things for her wall. So then I was looking around my room to see anything else I could give her from my room. Looking around the house, see anything I could put in here from the rest of the house. So. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she'll be excited. So I want to get the door back on so we can capture this look when she comes home. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see if I can work a miracle with this door by myself. What? That took less than 60 seconds. I got this door on, honey. Dog that. I did it by myself. It's amazing what things you can do by yourself. When you put your mind to it. Glenn's still not home. Now it's dark outside. So. Woo! I can't believe I did that. I put the door back by myself. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Let's see it. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh really, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> Just replace the S with the B and I heard. asked Bobby if she wanted it. She said no. <laughs> and Cindy's from together all night. As for Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> She's moving in. <laughs>